All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be installing another upgrade. We're gonna be taking this Heg vent, H-E-G-N, whatever, H-E-N-G-N, -N, yeah, vent, um, and taking this and replacing it, with taking, taking this out and replacing it with this. Little teeny fan with the big fan. That's what we're gonna to do today. Thanks for tuning in. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna secure the power. So if you go, this is a host Yukon 2023, and we're gonna to go to where it says fans, and which is a six one down, which is here. I pulled the fuse. And the way I verified that the power was off is I had the motor running, and when I pulled the fuse, the motor stopped, so I knew I had the right power. is we're going to take the shroud off right here so i'm not going to speak a whole lot it's pretty self-explanatory you got four nuts or sorry screws that we're going to pull out and just going to pull the shroud straight down that simple so now We're going to take this off, which is the raising and lowering of the vent. I'm not really sure. It looks like a Phillips, so I got to change it out. This was a square head. And just like that, I'm going to set this over here so I don't lose it. And I'm going to unscrew the, the power button right here for the fan. Yep. So now we're gonna take the screen down. You got a screw here, right behind the switch, and a screw here on the other side. And this will remove, taking the screws out, remove the fan, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the screen. And it will come down, so just be careful. Push the motor or the uh, on and off switch out of the hole here, and you're good to go. Next, we're going to take the fan out, fan blade out, and just pull it straight down, just like that. And for references, you can see the difference of the sizes of the blades. So on this, in the parts bag, we're going to be taking out what they call the easy nut, which is this right here, and we're going to be placing it on this right here, and up here to convert it to fit this right here. All right, so it took me a few minutes to figure out how to get this screen off. You have to get this screen off so you can get to this gear here so you can put another gear in order to tighten this down. You do that from the inside, but the screen, it'll turn left or right, but it doesn't really come off. And I'm not really sure why they have these holes where it'll turn left or right. So all you do is just gently, but forcefully just, just pull it and it'll pop off. And I guess that's, you, you got to be able to get to it in order to clean the screen. It's just kind of a weird construction on that. These gears line up depending on what your vent is, but on our host Yukon, you'll have options to change this by the directions. On ours, we did not have to do that because the the the, one, the gear lines up with this perfectly, so we didn't have to take this off in order to change the different holes here for the configuration of the up and down of the vent. So that's where we're at right now. I'm fixing to put this up and screw it on and uh, wire the light. So obviously. Red is positive and white's negative. And on the wires that we have going up into the old fan, we have a black and a white. So if it's anything normal, white should be positive and black should be negative. So it'll be opposite colors of this. So it should be white to black and and uh, white to black and white white to red on here. 
Okay. All right, so I took two Phillips head screws out right here, and I'm just going to remove the, the motor because we're not going to need that anymore. And I'm going to cut the wires probably right here and right here so I can keep the switch. Or I can just take the switch off. All right, I don't know if you can see this good with the, but you'll see red and white. So the red and white here it does go to the black and the white goes to the white. So I'm gonna still multimeter it out just to make sure because you just never know because the wires are all reversed on this thing sometimes. But when I was telling you earlier that the positive was white, it looks like on here, the white is negative and the red and white is positive, which will be the black. So, but I'm gonna definitely multimeter it and check it. All right, so I did multimeter it out and I had Donna put the fuse in while I put the multimeter up to the wires and the red and white is definitely positive and the white is definitely negative. Okay, so we didn't tape this because I needed Donna to help me hold it up. But when I cut those um, wires and, and then I uh, uh, attached them, uh, put it up and then I zip tied the extra excess wire onto the bar that was going across the top just to kind of get it out of the way. And uh, then you put two screws back in, one here, one here. It only lines up one way and you'll figure that out. It's like a puzzle, but you'll figure that out once you once you get it lined up. The, the gear that goes to that square gear is here. Now, uh, back in the parts bag, you have one more gear. And this thing locks that in. So you just screw it in there and you're, and you're, and you're called today. That holds it down. So that's why you have to remove the screen. So basically, it's just like the, the old gear that you had, you're just tightening it in there and you're good to go. So that holds that mechanism there back to the original gear that raises and lowers the vent. All right, one thing I wanted to point out because it was kind of confusing me is you guys got to remember that this fan is at an angle up there. So if you look at this, this kind of sits down lower, this is sitting up. And I was like, well, man, it just, just doesn't look like it's in there right but it is because of the angle. So if you just remember that, it won't confuse you too. Just wanted to point that out. All right, so now I'm just putting the shroud back on. And again, remember what I said about the angle. So the skinny end towards the middle, big end towards the side. And it should just go right in there. And then once you get that in, all you gotta do is just put the screws back in. And when, once I get the screws back in, I'm gonna put the, uh, the last thing I have to do is just do the, do the uh, screen. Um, this was kind of a simple project. The, the directions are very vague, so you have to be kind of, you know, figure it out. But hopefully, this video will help you. If it does, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. That kind of helps us out towards uh, well, bringing out more videos to you guys. But this is something I've been wanting to do just because of the the old fart fan just wasn't just was didn't do anything so hopefully this will do fine I bought this one there's two different ones on Amazon and I one's like 100 bucks and this one was like 80 bucks and they're both the same um, so this is the one that I bought and hopefully Donna will put a link maybe down to the one I bought uh, the only tools I used was electric drill a combination Phillips regular headed uh, screwdriver and uh, a pair of uh, cutters and I also used a uh, um, multimeter so I could check the wires and I highly recommend you do that because last thing you want to do is to wire everything up the way you think it's supposed to be and it's backwards so um, it just takes a second to use your multimeter this one also has an in and an out so we can reverse it where the other fan couldn't do that. So you can bring air in or take air out. And if again, if you look at the blades, look at the difference between this big sucker and this little teeny thing. So we were talking about putting a max air fan up there with the, the self-closer and all that stuff. 
but we just don't have the room up there because of our solar panels. So we're stuck with this, which is, this is fine. Um, and uh, I don't know if you guys saw this upgrade that we did, but you see how bright it is? We got these two. Uh -oh. <laughs> don't, you edited that right. <laughs> I was being a complete idiot because I had it upside down, but there's Magnus in here. And these line up just like that. And uh, you can tell the difference between the sun. And we found a really nice one. I'll show you over here. Donna comes over here. I'll we'll shut the bathroom door. And we were putting uh, the reflections up here. But I found one. Check that out, guys. So when you take a shower, you can take it right off. And when you're not using it, you put it up there and it's held in by the magnets. Just like this. You just put those little metal strips up there and it holds it. This is actually for a window on a, on a van. And it was the exact same size as our, well, pretty close to the size of our um, uh, skylight for the shower. If you guys uh, ask in the comments, I'll, I'll hook you up with the link on that. It was like, oh, I can't remember, it's like 20 bucks, 20 or 30 bucks maybe. Um, but <laughs> we don't have any reflectives in the van or in the truck camper anymore. We've gone with these kind of stuff on all of our windows. And if you guys want to know how we did it, leave a comment. Again, thanks for looking and checking us out, and uh, we'll see you on the flip side.